When my hair is out like this, I just like constantly am playing in it like. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Today's video is gonna be a cute one. So I just got out of the shower, finished washing my hair. I'm gonna be doing a blowout. I posted, I've done this already like two or three times on myself, like to myself. Um, and I post about it on my Insta story and every single time I post about it, people literally just flood my DMs asking me to do a video on it. Um, I don't like to put heat on my hair too often. Like I try to space it out as much as possible. I think the last time I did this was like two months ago. So I try not to do it too often cause I don't want to put too much heat on my hair. Cause you know, that can cause heat damage. It will cause heat damage eventually, you know, further down the line. But I also do plan on cutting my hair off like significantly very soon so i'm not too worried about it which is why i'm doing it today for you guys if you guys are interested in today's video then make sure you keep watching of course <laughs> if you want to see what underneath this bonnet turns into then make sure you keep watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up down below you can go ahead and click the subscribe button i am doing a giveaway i don't know i think i'm gonna announce giveaway details i don't know what i'm gonna announce giveaway details but we just hit 30k so we'll be announcing giveaway details soon for my 30k giveaway. I love you guys and let's just get right into this video. Okay, so I'm gonna take off my bonnet. Don't laugh at my little, like don't laugh, okay? I have a t-shirt wrapped around my hair because I like needed to absorb some of the water that was dripping off of my head. And I'm not gonna use like a towel, you know, you gotta use a t-shirt because cotton is like best. Um, so yeah, I just washed my hair really wet like it's like soaking wet this is how I like to do my blowouts like I like when my hair is wet um, I feel like it makes it way easier I don't know if that's just me but I'm gonna go in with this Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Restoring Styling Lotion this is good for um, to use on your natural hair or if you're gonna do a blowout you can use this product beforehand it's to protect your hair before using any heat so love this stuff and I'm just gonna I should have split my hair in half before I did this I wasn't thinking anyway I'm just gonna rake it through my hair And I don't know, like, I'm just ready to cut it off. Like, I'm ready. I don't, I never really cared for long hair. I just feel like it's very, like, high maintenance and it takes a lot of work. And I'm kind of lazy when it comes to my hair. Like, when it comes to that kind of stuff, I just, I could just really do without it, honestly. Okay, so I got my brush. So I'm just gonna brush through my hair. You're supposed to start at the, the bottom and work your way up. But you see, like, I'm literally just, I don't even be trying, girl. Um, I'm just distributing the product throughout my hair by brushing it through, just making sure that it really just reaches every part that it needs to reach. Ooh. How I detangle and I still got knots. I detangled in the shower. If I big chop again, should I record it for you guys? <laughs> should I? Do you want to see that? I'm probably just gonna cut it all off. Okay. You know, she got a little hang time. My hair is so long, wow. Ugh. I'm gonna split it down the middle. Cause I love me a little middle part. Hey, 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 your hair and makeup today. <laughs> Essentially the dress that you have on. Yeah, I'm gonna just take this, I'm gonna take the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Hold and Shine Moisture Mist. This just makes my hair look, 
healthy. Um, Cause it has coconut oil, silk, protein, and neem oil. All those oils that blend on your hair will just give your hair this beautiful shine. And that's what I'm going for, obviously, you know? Ooh, she's fully detangled. I'm gonna clip up this side and just section off a small piece towards the bottom. I'm gonna clip up the rest. I thought I only had one clip. Like so, like that. Yeah, this is like a, a decent sized piece, right? Okay, so I got my blow dryer. This is the Infinity Pro blow dryer from Con Air. Oh, it's focusing on my face. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it? Yeah. Got this at Rite Aid. You know, this is nothing crazy, nothing too fancy. The most important part is that you have this, this um, piece that will blow out the air like that. That's important. The kind of brush that you're using. So this is my old brush. Don't laugh at it, okay? It's really beat up. She's been through it. She's been through it. But I got a new one. But it's this. It's like one of those. There's so much built-up product on it. I don't even want to show you this. But this is my new brush, right? It's one of the brushes that has like these like metal. I don't even know if this is metal. I mean, it feels like metal, but. You see it and then it has the holes going through the brush so that the air this is actually like meant for blow dryers so that the air can like pass through the brush um this is this is the real deal okay so i usually do it on high and i have it on hot um because i'm just about that life you know so i'll hold i'm a righty so I hold the brush with my right hand and you see how I, I place the brush under my hair, under the piece of hair. I place the brush under the piece of hair and as I'm blowing, blowing it out, I'm gonna be rotating the brush and it's gonna be pulling my hair taut. It's gonna be pulling it tight like that. And then when I feel like it's you know straight enough, I'm gonna bring it all the way down to the end and then I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna do it the other way and then I'm probably gonna do it one more time underneath. So just watch the first time. Yo, did y'all see that? It straightened the root so quickly. It was the brush. The brush was really doing it. Wait, let me do it underneath now. So I'm gonna wrap my hair around. period okay so my little kitchen back here is a little frizzy but it's really straight like for the most part like for me to not have to put any flat iron on it it's pretty that's pretty good you know so we're just gonna go over one more time to really make sure that she's she's about that life you know she's giving me what i need her to give Period. <laughs> Yo, I forgot to tell you, I got this brush at CVS. If I can link it, I will link it down below for you. I'll link the hair dryer if I can find it. I'm gonna link everything that I can find, okay? So it'll all be down below. But this brush, oh my gosh, she really did that. Like, so when I get to the end, right? 
and I want to create that really nice like bumped like curled end but it's not like too much but it's like a body weight bump I get here and I'm twisting the brush and I'm holding the blow dryer on the brush and I'm kind of like applying I'm not applying too much pressure but I'm just holding the, the hair dryer and the brush together they're following each other and as I'm rotating the brush I'm slightly lifting the blow dryer and I'm just following my hair until I get all the way to the end and then it gives me the cutest little bum but that is so cute okay so I showed you guys my method so let's just get into it I'm gonna play my music while I blow dry my hair. So yeah, let's just, I'm gonna speed through the rest of it. So I just finished one half. That took me an hour, but I did stop at one point. Um, but I think I could do the other side quicker. But she looks cute. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and I'll be right back. Okay, um, I know, okay, wait, let me fix my hair. My hair looks a little crazy right now. You guys, the lighting is probably like so different because when I started filming, it was the daytime and now it is the nighttime. I filmed a TikTok for this makeup look. So that's what I've been doing. And I was taking photos. I was being very productive. You should all be very proud of me. I'm trying to be consistent, okay? Um. But yeah, this is what my hair is looking like. Ooh, she's she's got volume, she's got body. Um, I ended up taking my flat iron and just like adding like little bumps. 
some curls at the end just for like some pieces but not like my entire head and then I also just like went over my um, my edges with the flatter but I have it on a really low heat because I don't like using high heat on my hair with the flat iron like that I will not do because when I was younger and I was in my straight hair phase when I was in middle school and then going into high school I used to fry the shit out of my hair I flat iron my hair every single day yeah so I'm just pulling out my little baby hairs but yeah this is the end result my hair usually lasts like this for like a week and then I can stretch it to two weeks if I use dry shampoo, but I'm not wearing it out at that point. I'm wearing it in like half up, half down hairstyles. I'll do like the the like the like 90s, like the swoop with like half of it up and then bump the ends and keep that down. Like that's really cute. If you guys want like a tutorial on how I do that hairstyle, let me know. It only took me two hours to do everything. It took me an hour to do this side and it took me uh, like 45 minutes to do this side and then it took me 15 minutes to like just touch up everything once my whole head was done. But it looks really good. Let me show you the back. I don't really know what the back looks like so please don't judge me but. My hair is out like this. I just like constantly am playing in it like. If you guys enjoyed today's video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and smash the like button. You can also go ahead and click the subscribe button and join the fam. We just hit 30K. I will be announcing the giveaway in my next video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you at my next upload. Bye.